Tony Slaw with BNet TV. We are here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona for 2013. I am speaking with SBTV's Mr. Fyodor Yezhov. How are you today, sir? I'm thank. I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Listen, for all the people out there uh, in BNet TV land, why don't you give us a brief overview of SBTV and what you're doing here at MWC? So actually, we do everything which is related to the mobile TV, OTT TV, and internet TV. And here we showcase our some new technologies which are related to this area. Why, why is this better than the, your other competitors in the market space? Actually, the biggest thing is that we can provide a complete turnkey solution, including hardware, encoders, streamers, middleware, clients, and the rest. And the great thing is that our solution can support any kind of the device. Smart TV, set-top box, laptop, Windows, Mac, any mobile phone. Android, Symbian, Blackberry, Bada, feature phone, doesn't matter because we can provide service for all of them. So what are the percentage of users that actually do multitask uh, while, they're, while, while they're watching TV? Actually, from our experience, the percentage of such people is not that big because uh, we have access to the, to the two data sources. Number one is uh, our own user base for the service which we are running by ourselves because we have 23 million subscribers from all around the world. And secondly, we just held SPB survey, uh, which collect information from 47,000 47, people about their habits and what they like or and don't like about a mobile TV. What are some of the announcements that you've just recently made? Sorry? Uh, I haven't heard. No problem, I'll, I'll do that one again. Why don't you tell us about some of the recent announcements that SPTV's just released? Yes, right. Uh, today we are showing our new media platform uh, which provides some more capable encoding and streaming facilities as well as the technology to build up our CDNs. And another good thing is about UIs because we are showcasing our new 3D UIs for iPhone and Android which looks very nice and fancy. And I think that I also read something about a new uh, media partnership with an ad serving company? Yes, right, because we start developing solution which is about uh, for uh, video ad insertion into our system. Because right now we provide a technology which can help you to replace advertise, uh, advertisements fr from the stream. So it means you are watching, for example, CNN, it's just for an example, right? But instead of uh, the ads which are originally present in at CNN, you can see advertisements which is placed by our technology. And each particular subscriber and everyone who watch the channel at the same time can have access and see different ads. And then finally, uh, Fyodor, what are we going to see from SBTV in the next 12 months? Actually, you will see some more stuff about advertisements as well as about interactivity because we plan to showcase some very cool interactive features in IBC. Fantastic. Listen, Fiona, thank you very much for taking the opportunity to speak with us. Hope you can for an update again in the future. Okay, thank you. I've been speaking with Mr. Fyodor Yezhov from SBTV here at Mobile World Congress 2013. I'm Tony Slar with BNet TV.